Today, I'm going to talk about motivation. Before I start my speech, I wanted to have some time to think what's going on in your life and what your motivation is. I mean, the motivation about your everything that wraps your motor. When it comes to the dream, English, and then and the things that you are enthusiastic about. So, do you have a certain motivation? Do you have shame? What is it? Food. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Perhaps someone has a, a, the obvious motivation, and someone doesn't have any motivation, right? So, how many of you are a motivated person? I'm going to tell you a story. All right, I'm going to tell you a story. Before I give it away, uh, I want to ask you, I want to ask you to right now, close your eyes and imagine that you are now in the beautiful beach. It's very crowded. Yes. Beautiful beach. You are now in the, yeah. Right. Oh, oh, please, please, yes. It's very crowded with people because in this place, a festival is being held there. It's being held. So, and you are now can hear various sounds, including sound of waves and exciting party music. You're feeling the, feeling the sea and the sunshine. Feel good? Yes, of course. Of course not. <laughs> anyway, while you were having fun with your friends, suddenly a very gorgeous and attractive guy or girl approaches you, saying, I want to go with you. <laughs> then what are you going to say? Where? Where? Oh, OMG, great. Ah. It doesn't make any sense, right? All right, you can now. You can open your eyes. As a matter of fact, that was me. Last summer, I visited the Daejeon Beach, located in Chungnam Province, Korea, and the Border Month Festival. You know, Border Month Festival. Yeah, in the Border Month Festival, which is very famous to foreigners was being held there. So uh, actually I went in, I went there with my ex-girlfriend. Ex ex-girlfriend and my friend and the friend of my ex-girlfriend. Yes. We had fun in the sea. Later, my ex-girlfriend and friend and her friend left us and headed a seashore because they felt cold. To my surprise, a white girl tried to have a talk with me, saying, I want to go with you. Like this. Yeah. I was very impressed because that was the first time, first, that was the first time to talk with a foreigner, to me, in my life. And she told me, I want to, I want to hop in your tube. Wow. <laughs> I want to hope you too. I also very impressed. Yeah, I want to say something, but I can't say anything. I couldn't say anything. And when, when I heard she said, I couldn't listen very well. Yeah. So I said, here, printing my tube. Oh my god. Yes. And suddenly, I saw, I saw, I thought that I should get off from my tube. Yes. And, yes. And, but she wrote on my tube when I was also on there. Yes. And yes, yes, and one of her friends tried to take a picture 
of us say smile. Yeah. Probably my facial ex at that time my facial expression was not that good. Of course, I was concerned about concerned whether my girlfriend was watching this situation or not. Very scary. <laughs> Yes, I wouldn't say something, but my lips were chipped. Although I had learned English more than, for more than 10 years, there were no words to speak. So, and I couldn't even say, what is your name, where are you from, like that. And I realized that I, would, I am a champion idiot. Holy crap, yeah. What a loser. Now that I think about this memory, I just want to thank her. Thank her. And who made me shocked? Since that time, I started to watch some lecture of English conversation. And last December, I signed up for a club of English conversation named EAG in my college. I buckled down to study English and now that I take a look at my fruits of my effort, I am a completely changed man. I think she was my accelerator and motivation. So, so I could drastically improve my English ability within a short time. I was very poor at that time. Yes, you may think my sorry, you may think my motivation is awful, but but of course my the purpose of learning English is not for citizen women. Of course, yeah. Now, and now absolutely, I have much bigger dream than I had before. What do you think is the most essential part when you try to do something, when you begin to do something? Capability? Confidence? And I want to say it like that. At the end of the at the end of the day, this is motivation. Sorry. As I think, if I had not met her, I might have been here. So, uh, see from my experience. The more motivation, the more immersed we become. Of course, and the, of course, immerse is made, is able to make us happy. So I recommend you to find out and clarify your motive. And stimulate yourselves. It will be helpful, especially when you try to challenge something. And I'm sure that if you do this, you can make it such a big deal. And I bet it can significantly change the outcomes of your life. Thank you.